To create the artificial harbor, we began by sinking the phoenixes along a rough semicircle swinging outward from Omaha Beach. Beyond the phoenixes, the bombardons were moored to reduce wave action at the entrances to the harbor. Inside the harbor, the 3,000-foot bridges were assembled, running out to the floating Lobnitz piers. The 2,100-foot sunken causeways afforded dry, firm surfaces for landing at any tidal stage. The seawall was completed by the line of sunken ships. The lateral tide range was 2,000 feet. This meant that at low tide, 2,000 feet of the bridges were resting on sand and 2,000 feet of the causeways were exposed. Note the water depths. The vertical tidal range was 18 and a half feet. The phoenixes were sunk in water that was 32 and a half feet deep at low tide and 51 feet deep at high tide. 